My name is Piper. In the morning before I wake up, my husband Randy gets up from his bed to make us breakfast. Every single morning he makes the same thing over and over again. It's almost 8 a.m. It's time to free the kids. They are given an exit from their chambers so they can go to school. Oh, one of them made a mess in their bathroom and is cleaning it up. How nice. However, it's time to go to the school bus. You wouldn't want to upset your mother, would you? I get up from bed and go to my carpool to go to work. The day passes as our maid cleans up the house while nobody can escape. Oh look, I've been promoted to an astronaut. How wonderful. Anyway, it's time to direct the kids to their rightful place. Good job, little shit. And the door shall be removed. After I get home, I shower to remove the outside germs. My husband gets home and cooks us dinner while I play some games on the computer. Dinner is ready. My husband and I get a serving and we transport the rest to the children's chambers. They shall have it until the morn. I eat my meal, put it in the dishwasher, and now it's time for my daily visit to our friendly neighbor Chantal, who has been in the hot tub for 10 years. I say hi and quickly go back inside and do my daily workout. I believe in a healthy lifestyle, a balanced diet, and a rigorous exercise routine. The kids are eating. How wonderful. I work out until I'm tired, and then I go to sleep in my bed while my husband sleeps in his. That's my life. Every day. But it wasn't always this way. Okay, this is the Walnut Man here. Today we are playing The Sims 1 for the PS2. Let's get this rolling! Right, so two decades ago, holy cannoli I'm old, a game called The Sims was released for the PS2. And I did have a CD version of this, but I just didn't play it because I had other games in mind at the time. So today we are playing it and seeing how it holds up. As usual, we get a female sim and name her Piper, as I am a firm believer of seeing a woman's behind in a game rather than a man's. I make her personality as flat as yesterday's focaccia and her clothes as well, because these are early 2000s clothes. Come on, look at them. Oh. Hmm. Are these matching? Holy shit! I don't see anything wrong with this uh, blocky face. We'll go with a plain Jane here. Let's go. Congratulations, you started your first sim. Uh, what the? What am I doing here? Whose mansion is this? Holy shit, someone's appearing out of thin air. Oh, ew. Who the heck are you, bro? Wow, Randy. What are you doing here? So we begin in this big mansion and some bozo called Randy spawns out of thin air through a cloud of smoke like a genie from a lamp. Naturally, we're going to ignore him and try to avoid him for as long as possible because he's a creep. Eight whole needs. Remember those days? Hey, wanna come play in the hot tub? No, not really. Man, th this the controls are kind of tripping me out here. Jeez. S uh, dive in. Let's dive in. Piper, I'm lonely in this hot tub. Oh man, we... There aren't any ladders! Can Sims uh, go out of the pool without ladders in this? Okay. <laughs> I guess they fixed that. Bubble, bubble. Hey Piper, wanna start some trouble? No, you are trouble, sir. I don't even know who you are, Randy. Piper, I've got something I wanna show you. Come here. Okay, Randy, you can go ahead and just stay there. Hello? Hot tub calling Piper, time to get in, hello? Yeah, not gonna happen, buddy. Not gonna happen. Okay, let's just go to sleep. Vibrate? What the hell? Vibrate. This is not a game for kids, let me tell you that. Darn it, Piper! Get in here with me! 
Yeah, shut up, Randy. I'm going to sleep. Look, it's midnight. It's 12.50 a.m. You want me to get it? The water is getting cold, Piper, and so am I. Yeah, I hope you get cold. I hope you get so freezing cold to get frostbite, actually. You never joined me in the hot tub. I'm out of here. Game over. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that, that literally game over does. What the hell? Okay. Uh, I guess that failed us. And I did not save. Okay, let's just try that again, shall we? Okay, get in. Get in. Join. Okay. That mosaic, though. Piper, stop daydreaming. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Are you going to daydream all day long? Goals borrow 800 simoleons from mom. Cook dinner without starting a fire. Okay, so we were just dreaming and now we wake up in our house where we are greeted by our constantly complaining mom. Oh great! Now how are we going to, supposed to have funny fun around here? I'm missing my soap operas! How are you ever going to live on your own if you don't learn to cook for yourself? Pick up a cookbook once in a while. They're on the bookshelf. Master chef in the making. Yes. That music though, I love it. And we probably have to get a mechanical skill point as well. I'm missing my soap operas. Don't you know how to fix a TV? Jeez, slow down, mom. I can only do so much at one time. She's going. She's probably going to complain that I don't want to read a book because I'm so bored. You, you look as bored as I feel. Why do you fix the TV so we can watch our shows? Yeah, I mean, how am I supposed to fix the TV? without reading the mechanical book first. Um, what's our relationship with mom? 41, she's not even our friend. <laughs> How do we sleep on the same bed? I mean, the Sims are very picky with who they want to sleep in, uh, w in bed with. Okay, how fast is that recovering? Not. <laughs> I, I don't even think it's recovering. Is it? Man, it's so slow! How did we live like this in the past, man? Come on, sleep. Oh! Mom, why did you turn on the freaking radio again? God damn it! Go sleep on the couch, you don't get along well enough to share the bed right now. Oh god, it never ends, the problems never end. And that incessant whistling, that tune, has been... Are you running a science project in our toilet? Disgusting! Jeez, complain, complain! Oh god. We, re we need to get out of here. We need to get out of this place. Ew, all oh, those germs, I'm not cleaning it. Piper should do the chores. Jeez! You can't get a job and move out yet. I don't think you're quite ready. Uh, why not? I mean, you sound like you really want me to get out of here. Borrow money. She's gonna say no because our relationship is too low. Uh, borrow money. Okay. How many times can we do this in a row? Okay. I guess mom is just an infinite source of money. Why would we want to win the lottery when we can just ask mom for infinite money? I'm not in the mood to lend you money. Okay, she was just in a good mood. Okay, mom. Piper got enough money to move out. Now you can visit a museum too. Two player. We can play two players in this game? Wow. With a measly $850, we can move out. Wow. Let's go for the military one. Piper finally got a job. Okay, you're finally moving out. I did one last favor for my little baby. Go to Mr. Line Grab's house up the street and give him the rental deposit I lent you. He's got a place that's just perfect for you. Not so fast. You can't just leave the house in this condition. I'm taking my fair share. How dare you treat your own mother this way? Pepper owes mom 25. <laughs> After getting 850 simoleons and getting a job in the military, apparently we can just move out. And now we go to the second level, Reality Bites. Holy shoot! Oh, damn! This guy's got a Lamborghini over here! Talk about rich! 
Who are you? Mimi. Hi, I'm Mimi. My dad can make it. Listen up. I trashed this place party too much. You can stay for free if you fix it up. You seem pretty cool. Maybe later you can move in with me and meet all my friends. Okay, Mimi. Thank you very much for that offer. Look at this. What the hell is this? It's uh, some kind of vanity, okay? All we have to do is clean up the place and we get to stay for free. Man, yeah. what a life. Jesus, what the hell is happening here? Because why is the kitchen outdoors? What the hell is going on? Oh, okay. There was a fire. So as the girl Mimi said, we just have to clean up the place. And then we can get out of here. Simple, right? Just mop the floors, sweep the dust, etc, etc. A lot of work. But at least we're alone and no more nagging. It's a calm level. We're all alone. Little did I know that this would be the last semblance of peace in the game. Um, you know these dishwashers? Because in my country, we don't really use or even have dishwashers. Uh, and playing this game when I was like 3 years old, 4 years old, really gave me the idea that when I grow up, I'm just gonna chunk all these dishes in a dishwasher. Man, what a dream that was. And now when I... Now that I've seen dishwashers in real life, I mean, they don't seem to be that good of an idea. I would really prefer to wash dishes myself, to be honest. I haven't tried one personally yet, so... But, you know, I thought these things were just everywhere growing up, but, you know, that's... I mean, I don't know if they are in the US, but here in, in Asia, they really aren't. Oh, sh What the hell? Did something die? Oh, uh, okay, the, uh, <laughs> the, the fishies, the fishies in the aquarium have died. Okay, rest in pieces, little fishies. You have been promoted to elite for- What?! Elite forces?! <laughs> All freaking ready! Our first day of the job and we're elite forces. Special training as a commando brings you more prestige. To the sports car again, uh, Mimi, okay. You call that a career? I'm not living with anyone who's not in the right income bracket. Get promoted to drill instructor and I'll invite you over. Okay. Jeez. Who? Please, can you take a piss at work? She really did not go to the bathroom once while at work. Oh my gosh. Welcome home. Okay, who the heck are you, lady? Our social is starting to dip. We might have to talk to somebody pretty soon. I think we have to fix this. I mean, it, it doesn't say we have to, but I assume so. Does that count? This house is looking great. You unlock the electronic insect control system. Okay. Let's take a bath, then use the toilet. And flush? Why do they not flush it? Why do we have to flush it for ourselves? <laughs> a grueling week of maneuvers finally takes a soul in your body. Lose one body point. What the hell? Jeez, we are very lonely. Welcome home. Ah, damn it. Let's greet this lady over here. Please, talk to me. Who are you? Why are you here? What do you want? Please, talk. We meet Pauline, a charming character, our first friend even. She occasionally visits the house of her own accord. Would I pass up the chance to spend time with you? Never, I'll be right over. Oh, okay. I didn't know we were down like that, Pauline. You have made a new family friend. Yes! We are friends with Pauline. Oh yeah. Let that be enough for a promotion. Yes, well, no way, no trash. Get the hell out of this trash. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you literally kidding me? Holy f fuck! What the hell is wrong with you? We missed work. God fucking damn it, man. Because of these stupid newspapers, our room motive was freaking down. God damn it, man. This game. Oh. Okay, calm down. 
You have missed a day of work. It is okay to miss one day. Yes, I know. You call that? Yeah, shut up, Mimi. Can't you see I'm busy here? Okay. That worked. Art. Dance. How about we kiss? Come on. I'm ready for this to fail. And it, it, it failed. Uh, and I'm not... So not surprised by that. Oh right, in The Sims 1 and 2, uh, your relationships were one-sided. You could have 100 with from the perspective of your sim, but the other sim would not have 100 with you. Come on, get promoted, please, come on. Yes! Drill Instructor, now that you're an experienced vet, the base commander has volunteered you to impart your wisdom to a squad of green malleable recruits. Hey Piper, this place looks great. My dad can sell this place off in no time. Nice job. In fact, why did you move in with me? Come on, let's go to my new party pad. Oh, finally. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's get the heck out of here. Yes, we're riding in the Lambo. Party animals. Let me just stop myself right there and say... Welcome to hell. actually moved in with Mimi. What a loser. You need to find a better roommate, throw some good parties and prove that the courts attract the right crowd. So that was Zara and she told us that we are a loser for staying with Mimi, the one in the Lamborghini. And holy hell was she not wrong. I mean this girl, this girl Mimi right here. She is the devil incarnate in this game. This was the worst level ever. This level was pain and suffering. This level was hell, I'm telling you. You know what? Let's just get on with the video. Irresistible. Piper got one charisma point. Yes. This is going faster than I thought. Oh god. The game is not going to fast forward uh, at maximum speed if they're both not sleeping. Oh, that's a hassle. Having Mimi around is going to be a hassle. Can I just kill her? Like, seriously, can I just kill Mimi? Do Sims die in this game? I mean, if we don't have any goals uh, connected to her, we might be able to kill her. Eat! What the hell is wrong with you, Penny? Uh, Pe Piper? Okay, you know what? Never. Oh, that's for Mimi. Okay, never mind. Okay, I, I don't give a shit about you, Mimi. You can get fired for all I care. Uh, convenience store clerk. Whoa! The customers are considerably less wealthy than those in your last job, but there's plenty of free soda pop and candy bars. Not a bad trade. Besides, all your friends can hang out as sort of... Mimi! Seriously! She was the one who was telling us that she did not want to have somebody else uh, living with her, not within the same, uh, income bracket. Look, man, I'm not into manual labor. Piper is a maid around this house. Make Piper do it. Oh, man, I definitely want to kill you now. I just realized, uh, Mimi was talking directly to us in that dialogue. What the hell? It would be amazing if this actually worked. Go to sleep. Spy this. Yes! Yes! She is never gonna get out there. Okay, now we have no more obstacles, hopefully. Yes! She's stuck! She's stuck! Yes! Oh, but she is intermittently getting up. That's annoying. Oh look! She's got flowers! How oh, nice! Aw, oh, Pauline, you shouldn't have. Uh, dance. Can we dance? Oh look, that's cute! <laughs> They're actually dancing, that's cute. Okay. You go to work. So we can... Fast forward time better. 
what if we cover the exits? Yes. Bum bum bum. Da 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 da. Bum bum bum. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. 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 Yes. Okay. Now let's buy another. Okay. Hopefully you die over there, Mimi. Then I will have no more problems. Why does it seem like she can never die? The hunger doesn't go down. Damn, that sucks. Oh man, she's not gonna die. That sucks. That sucks so much. I mean, at least this way we totally drain her energy and she gets to go to sleep for a long time. That's the only good side I can see in this. Oh god! I miss this. Okay, what are you gonna steal? Okay, not even mine. I mean, everything in this house is not even mine, so I don't care. It was at this point that I couldn't do any live commentary because apparently I lived beside a blacksmith in the 10th goddamn century. There were hammers striking all day in the condo unit adjacent to me. Anyway, I invited Pauline over and decided to do some redecorating because I thought, hey, we could get some money, right? Let's just downgrade, sell some things, give Mimi the cheapest bet on this side of town. Then I replaced the bathtub with a shower because bathtubs always take too long and if you know anything, it's that time is money in The Sims. And I'm not gonna stay here wasting time waiting for the stupid bathtub to fill and drain. Since one of the goals was to throw a quote unquote raging party, I tried throwing one and even put some balloons. So various people showed up including Zara, the one who called us a loser, for a good reason. I called for pizza, hoping that would equate to making the party great, but clearly I didn't know shit because it didn't do shit. I didn't know what made the game think a party is great to be honest, and who would know? One of the goals in this level is to move in with a party guest, and I decided that it would be Zara because hey, she looks good. All 300 pixels and 10 vertices of her. She did have a point about Mimi. After the party was a bust, I redecorated some more and sold more stuff to afford a big screen TV. A day later, I tried throwing a party again and of course, don't forget the balloons. What kind of loser throws a party without balloons? Anyway, Zara finally becomes our friend, and a bit more, because why not? The police come and stop the party, but hey, look at them, they're dancing! How adorable is that? After that, you know I gotta try to come in for the kiss, and yeah, at least we tried. Mimi gets demoted, but I mean, who cares? Literally not me in a million years. She can stay depressed for all I care, and I shall use her for unlimited burgers. As for some bizarre godforsaken unknowable reason, she has 7 points of cooking skill. Who could have thunk? So I guess nothing in the universe is useless after all. For the 10th time, I try to throw a party and just as a warm up, give Sarah a back rub and then finally try asking her to be a roommate. What she said was pretty eye opening, pretty much outlining the requirements for a good party in this game. If you want me as a roommate, you better throw a better party, get the hot tub going, cook some tasty food, get people talking. Now I knew where I went wrong. I sold the stupid hot tub, rookie mistake. Okay, let's buy a hot tub right now and try to remedy that. Let's even call for some pizza. Nope, still not a raging party. And now to my surprise, it shows that we need to upgrade our abode again. So now I come to the despairing realization that I might have severely fucked myself sideways and soft locked the game by selling so much stuff. Now I was desperate and just started panic buying like Americans buying toilet paper at the start of the 2019 pandemic.
Behind the beautiful nostalgic music was a man grasping at straws, in a state of despair, thinking that he might just have to replay the whole level because of the mistakes he made. After a minute of thinking, I thought, hey, the goal says upgrade, so I decided to upgrade the trash bag's, <coughs> I mean, Mimi's bed, and it didn't work. So I just started buying random stuff again, more expensive until I had no money left. And hey, it finally worked! Now that I think about it, maybe it was just about raising the house's value, who knows? Anyway, Zara said she still would not let us be a roommate. So I started worrying about that and subsequently sold all the stuff I bought again. Another day, another party. It's just non-stop partying at this point. As always, we get the burger maker to make some burgers and get the people into the hot tub. Now I was positive the party was doing great, so I asked Zara again, but now she was complaining about the house. And to my chagrin, the goal was back again. Upgrade your goddamn abode! <laughs> At this point, I was desperate and started googling how to do this, and unsurprisingly, lots of people asked the same question. The game was tricky, even for the time. So again, I bought random stuff to appease the game. Finally, I popped the question one more time, and... Booyah, baby! We finally got it! Holy kabooty! We got it, ladies and gentlemen! Yes! And of course, the second we know she accepts, I go into buy mode and sell everything to get my money back. At the last second, the game complains that the house is below value and takes money from me. Oh well. At least we're out of that godforsaken hellhole. Ooh boy, am I happy to be out there. And even better that we're gonna be living with Zara. Oh yeah. And dear viewers, might I just announce that after that harrowing stay in hell, we're going straight to heaven because the next level is the best level in the game. Hot to trot. Oh my goodness. Finally, we are out of hell. I hope this isn't a deeper layer of hell. I mean, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I just hope it's over. Man, finally, that took way too long than I wanted it to. Ooh. Hey, Piper, we should throw some major parties. My friends are dying to meet you. But first, we should finish some things I promised the landlord I would do. Okay, we're, we're with Zara now. What are the goals now? Try and score with a party guest? My god. God, upgrade your abode again, get promoted to career level 6, doesn't sound too bad right now. We're gonna need some logic and charisma. Let us buy a chessboard and a chair. That's an ugly ass chair, no. There we go. And do we have a mirror here? It does not have a single mirror anywhere, even in the bedroom. Is there a vampire? Did that count as upgrading my abode? No, it did not. Let's get to work with the logic immediately. What are your skills, Zara? She is absolutely skillless. This girl is a major skill issue. Okay, she she's she's not useless by any means. Unlike our previous, uh, our previous roommate, freaking Mimi. One of the goals says to uh, freaking score with a party guest, but I wanted to score ideally with Zara here, so that sucks. I wish Pauline was a party guest then. Oh boy, past me! Are you going to be tremendously, outrageously, mind-bogglingly disappointed? <laughs> Classic. Okay, now let's get Charisma up and going. Back in The Sims 3, Charisma really had a big effect in your socialization. I wonder if it did back in The Sims 1. I mean, it should? I don't remember too well for The Sims 2, but we shall see, I guess. 
We're gonna have to go to level 4 charisma. I wonder if that should have an effect on friend making. Spoiler alert, no. No, it doesn't. Oh my goodness. Someone is freaking hitting the wall with hammers again. So I'm gonna have to stop Mike for now. Anyway, you know I don't have much to complain about in this level. It's my favorite because Zara here lives like a dream and actually does stuff and increases skills. And you know, at least for a time, she was Piper's soulmate. This level played out like a fanfic, I'm telling you. <laughs> like Carl and Ellie in Up. And take a look at this! Yeah, and now it's weird not being mad about something in the game. But oh, oh don't you worry, dear viewer, as my misery will continue later. For now, I've enlisted Zara to be in the military as well, and we're just going to be doing a lot of skill building to get promoted. Now we're a flight officer. Yippee! Aww. Anyway, a few peaceful days later, I decided to throw a party again, as it's part of the goals once again. And unfortunately, we have to choose one of the guests to quote unquote score with. And disappointingly, none of the party guests were Pauline. And all of them were guys. It sucks, but I had to pick one of them. How about Huckleberry here? Or this dude with the glasses. He looks like he could watch his wife be with another woman. Ultimately, we picked the bozo Randy, who I didn't recognize from the dream. I try and score with him, and he declines! What the hell is wrong with you, bro? I guess he likes guys. He says he barely knows us, and so I wonder what the heck wrong I'm doing here. One party later, we tried again, and again he declines. The relationship has been 100 since the last time, but he keeps refusing! What the hell? Try again, no dice. Finally, it seems that we needed to flirt with him just once for him to consider us not barely knowing each other. Bro, fuck out of here with that bullshit. We are forcibly married to him, with Piper proposing with a ring, and just like that, the knot is tied. And we get a phone call and we are moved to the penultimate level with him. To my heart aching disappointment, we are stripped away from Zara and enter back again into hell. Anyway, this house comes with a bunch of stuff in two rooms, which we have to place ourselves. I try and make the place look like a normal house, but we shall soon see that will not be the best course of action. Apparently, this weirdo with a mask decided it was a good idea to sleep in a brand new bed in our house. So yeah, I'm getting rid of that shit. Plus, that bed was useless anyway. This other bed has better stats. Let's not forget about Randy's own bed, because this is a relationship out of necessity rather than desire. I made Randy get a job, but then this happened. Yes, a baby appeared out of thin air. Now this level just got even more hellish. We name it appropriately. And then I finally look at the goals for this level, which is have two kids in my soul sinks. Not only do we have to get promoted, which is going to take a long ass time, but we also have to spawn and take care of two babies while doing that. Fortunately, we have a slave, uh, I'm, I mean, Randy, to take care of that. I'll have Piper live as if she's alone and work on her career, while Randy here shall take care of the children. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> 
And there we go, we lose a baby, bye Felicia. Thank God that noisemaker is out of here. The next day, unfortunately, another little shit spawns and I figure we might as well deal with the problem now. So, now we commit to the plan. Randy here never gets a full night's sleep because of that stupid baby's crying and I guess he deserves that because we never asked to be in this situation. I was happy being at Sarah's house and now we have to deal with this crap. <sighs> and to add an ocean's worth of salt to the gaping wound, I discover that Zara no longer exists. She's just not in the relationship bar anymore. And we can't call her or invite her over. Endless pain. At least we still have Pauline. We invite her over to get at least a momentary reprieve from the current situation. Christ almighty, do you hear how annoying this baby's crying is? After a few days of suffering, we get this message. Your nurturing and love has helped little shit develop from a baby to a child. Piper raised little shit from a baby into a child. <laughs> okay, fucking finally, you little shit. And he looks like a fucking loser. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. Bye. You get your goddamn. Oh. Jeez. Holy shit! He's skilled though. God damn, this boy got no skill issue at all. Okay, okay. Okay, stop pestering me, little shit. I guess you need a bed now. I'm not splurging for you. Shut up, little shit. How about you study? All work and no play made little shit go up one great point. Good job. <laughs> okay. You, keep studying. Don't study, get la chancla. <laughs> Holy moly! Uh oh. Uh, how about you extinguish that? Uh, fire department. Oh! N Holy sh! He's dying! Oh my goodness! Are you freaking serious? Uh, I don't even know. I don't even remember what his name is. Uh, is it freaking Randy? Is it Randy? Randy's freaking dying. And we're just sleeping soundly over here. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not a problem. And <laughs> there's the Grim Reaper. Uh, he's walking. He's not floating. Um. Okay then. Oh my freaking goodness, man! I did not expect this. And the the fire, fireman is just over here, and the Grim Reaper, and our child is over here. This child is going to be traumatized for a life. And freaking Piper is over here, just sleeping soundly. Deepest sympathy. Randy has just died. Randy is dead. Game over. Oh. Shit! Are you freaking serious? That really just game over me. Freaking Jesus, Lord, have mercy on me. What did I do to deserve this hell? You have got to be freaking kidding me. What did I have do to deserve this? Why? 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 Why am I here? What am I doing in my life? How did it come to this? In playing this game, am I actually putting myself in the 10th circle of hell? Jesus. What the hell are you doing, Piper? God damn. Okay, we're back. After an excru excruciatingly long while. We're back and our kid. <laughs> Now looks like this. Hey, get the heck up and go to school. No breakfast for you. Well, quit complaining. 
and as you can see i have rearranged the house so that everything is near each other for a uh, more efficient use we should spawn another baby soon if i've refrained from getting randy from getting a job because he just needs to dedicate all his time to the baby he is a stay-at-home dad and things are going swimmingly for now as you can see, I have put a fire detector now. <laughs> mm, yummy. Did that kid just literally say yummy? Are kids in The Sims not simlish? I mean, they don't speak simlish? That was weird. And there we go, another goddamn baby. The other one was little shit. You shall be... Yes. <laughs> what the hell is your problem now? You have been fed, you have been sang to, you little fuck. Little shit, why did you invite this freaking creep inside? God damn you. Get the hell out of my house. You are asking me to leave the room? I'm asking you to leave the goddamn house. This bitch! God damn it, you little shit! You're breaking all our shit! That shower is literally brand new! Brand freaking brand spanking new! And you broke it on your first use! The school bus can't... <laughs> can't drive away because our carpool is blocking the way. <laughs> You're just gonna have to wait, because I'm skipping work today. It never ends. It never freaking ends. This kid! Did he seriously? Freaking... Oh my... Good lord! My guzzle bums! Freaking wreckers! Frick! I should ban a uh, little shit from taking baths. <laughs> Poor old Randy here never gets a break. If it's not the baby crying, it's the freaking phone ringing. <laughs> this poor, poor man. I got 100 simoleons from grandpa for good grades. Who the hell is your grandpa? Yum. There he goes again, there he goes again! He said yum! Hmm, yummy! He said yummy! That, that creeps me the hell out! Seriously, hearing English in the, uh, the Sims game? That's weird AF, bro! Shut the hell up, little shit! Pauline will forever be uh, Piper's first love here. <laughs> Who cares about the husband and kid, right? Oh! She still does not want to kiss. Okay, fair enough. Mm, yummy. Oh god. I think they forgot to remind the kid actors, the kid voice actors, to not actually say English words. Man, the skills take so long now. Your nurturing and love has helped little fuck develop from a baby to child. Freaking finally! And here is little fuck. Here we go, and he's wearing freaking douche shades. With a freaking blazer on. Well, this is going to take a very long while. So I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, so I tr I was trapping, I had this girl trapped in the hot tub for like more than a week and then I released her and then she died of hunger right now. I guess there's our first kill. <laughs> we can kill people by starving them. Deepest sympathy, Chantel has just died. No way. Why do we keep getting game over? Christ of... Fucking mighty man. This game is just suffering. I'm telling you, this game is suffering. Two hours later. We only have to upgrade our abode. Again, whatever the hell that means. And we should be able to go 
to the next level. There we go. Freaking finally. There we go. Yes. Is this it? Yeah. Should be. Uh, let me just provide access to the kids just in case. You never know. What do you want now, mom? <clears throat> Piper, I have great news. Malcolm and I just got married. What? We need to move back in his house. So since you have the big family, why don't you move into Malcolm's drafty old mansion? I guess we're gonna move to a mansion. Since we are in the pro we are in the process of moving, I might as well sell some of these things to get back my money. A modest twenty nine thousand. Oh god, not so fast, Piper. My real estate appraiser says this house is below value. I don't know what you did, but you owe me. Damn, thirteen thousand. They really do not let you go easily in this game. The last simoleon. This is definitely the last chapter. Freaking finally. Oh look, Piper. It looks like an enchanted castle. What a dream come true. And what a perfect place to retire. We should plan our early retirement. Are you freaking kidding me? We do not have a single thing in this house. Hold on. Do you see how asymmetrical this is? Oh my god! You have got to be shitting me get promoted to send ki kids to prep school with straight A's save 20,000 to buy a yacht 20,000 is pretty easy if we didn't have to buy new freaking things anyway it's been a while that was a lot of live commentary just now because I'd been playing the game all day and it's nighttime so no more hammers Mostly live commentary now, so I furnished the house as efficiently as I could. <laughs> you hear that? I have to fucking hear that all fucking day. Fuck you, you little fuck! And you, you little... Oh, this is little shit. Fuck you, little shit. And fuck you, little fuck. I mean... Would I call it hard? Not really. It's just so g goddamn grindy. Holy cannoli, look at little Miss Astronaut here. Damn! Look at that. We're riding a freaking limo now. Oh god! Is little fuck still studying? Hey, 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 hey. Go to goddamn school, little fuck. You kept the bus waiting. Inconsiderate little shit. I mean, fuck. They're all ringing the bathroom door. <laughs> Wait. Llamas? I didn't know llamas were a thing even in The Sims 1. Interesting. Holy cannoli! You've been chosen to train for the first manned mission to Mars! Charisma rises sharply and you receive a 5,000 simoleon bonus! Ah, oh, finally! Finally, this game finally gives me something! Finally hands me something! That felt good. Little fuck has been accepted into prep school, oh yeah! Oh man, oh man. That is wonderful news! That is such wonderful news. Finally, things are looking up. Little shit has been accepted into prep school. Does that mean they are permanently going away? Please, let it be so. Yes! Yes! Little shit and little fuck! Little shit and little fuck are no longer here! Oh my goddamn goodness! Holy shit! I cannot believe this! Do you... Are you saying that I can sell all their shit right now? Let's sell this, let's sell this, let's sell this, let's sell this! Oh yes! Yes! God! I'm deleting their whole freaking section. Give me all of that stupid money. Yes. Oh, thank you. 
Thank you, good lord heavens above. Let me just delete this whole side. Yes! We are absolutely destroying this mansion, but who cares? Who the hell cares? Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh man, you don't know how happy that makes me. Oh man, 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 mission to Mars, oh yes! Ooh, I'm glad I was recording during this. What the hell is it now? Thank you for shopping at Yadaholic. We received your funds just a moment ago. Your vessel, the last money, will be ready and waiting when you are. Bon voyage. Oh, is that it? Get promoted to career level 10. That's our only goal. Yes. Yes. This isn't gonna take as long as I thought. Can't believe it. Excellent. Oh, man. I love this. So it turned this mansion into a regular house. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I mean, let's let's fix it up at least. This is going to be our final home. Why are you not painting? Paint the inside. Okay, I guess we're gonna live wallpaperless. Yes. Yes, yes, fuck yeah! Let's go guys, let's freaking go! I just hope the kids don't actually come back, you know? I'm not sure how the whole prep school thing works. Man, 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 we can upgrade. We can upgrade our, uh, our toilet, at least. Man, I want some onion rings! Okay, okay, I, I, I'll see you guys when when we make progress again, because this is gonna take a heck of a lot of time. Probably two hours, I would say. So, let us see. Two hours later. <laughs> Randy saw us uh, giving uh, Pauline a back rub. It would be interesting to see if they would do a divorce. Let's have Randy do some bodybuilding because of course I don't really know if he's mad because his wife hasn't talked to him <laughs> ever since even before even before the kids were born <laughs> and surprisingly they are still at 79. Let's see this in first person. Oh god! Okay, I mean she has bangs. I love bangs. I mean, she has never allowed us to kiss her. Will she finally let us kiss? Let's see. Probably not. Oh! Hold! Are you serious? Pauline has finally let us kiss her! Yes, us! You're part of this too, viewer! You all are a part of this! Pauline has kissed us! Finally! After the whole game! How appropriate that uh, it's almost the end of the game. Oh man, now that that feels like an end to me. I, I don't even feel the need to finish the game anymore. I mean, what the hell a credit's for, you know? <laughs> can, can we divorce? Can we divorce... Um, uh, who, who is this? Randy? Can we divorce Randy and marry Pauline instead? Now that, that would be something. That would be amazing. Man, that makes me happy. <laughs> that that re that really made me happy. Yes, we still need a uh, mechanic mechanical skill level, two bodies, three logics that's going to take for freaking ever. I have been playing the game for like I don't know, 10 hours today. Non-stop. <laughs> Man, Randy, bro. That's not your bed, bro. Get the heck out of there. Ah, quit complaining. This is amazing. <laughs> He's just watching his wife dance with another girl. Hey, 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 hey! Don't you d This... Mother... F this asshole! This asshole just... Just freaking, uh... I don't know, I don't know what he did. Poked? 
He poked Pauline. Poor Pauline here. Yes, you just you just watch, Randy. Yes, I I I want I want to see you suffer, Randy. <laughs> Yes. Hey, stop. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> it's crying. It's freaking crying. Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's hilarious. That. Hilarious. <laughs> oh god, he's negative 88. Two hours later. Okay, here we go. You have been promoted to general. Okay, now what? Throw one great party before you retire. Oh god. Damn it. The greatest party in history. And there is there isn't even any music, any drinks. Nothing. No nothing's freaking happening. Oh look at Mimi, oh, no. Mimi's over here. No, Chantel is over here, mom is over here. Will Pauline be here? You know what, I guess not. Let him let him. <laughs> You've been in a party, no one's talking to Randy. <laughs> Why is everybody partying in the freaking bathroom, huh? How am I supposed to take a piss now? <laughs> what the hell is happening? There are five people. Come on, everybody, get out of the freaking bathroom. I need to take a shit. <laughs> freaking Randy over here. <laughs> Randy, why don't you go inside the freaking bathroom, man? There's a party going on in there. I guess that didn't count as a great party. Okay, I guess I need more than that. At this point, the end of the game was nearing, but probably because I'd been playing all day like 12 hours, the game was chugging, and I really wanted to go to sleep by then. So I decided to continue the game the next day, and here we are in the next day. And I was just grinding a few days with non-stop partying until it felt like something was going to happen. Can this please be the party? Please. Okay, is this it? Are we going to be called to retirement? Please let it be so. Please. Okay, there we go, there we go. They're applauding me. That was the greatest retirement party ever! You win! Holy... There is a freaking cutscene! I didn't see Pauline there. Damn, look at us. Living large. Bon voyage indeed. <laughs> the hell? Damn, look at this. Holy... <laughs> I feel like this could lead on to the Sims 2 castaway. <laughs> With that cruise ship thing. Damn, fancy. And there we have it. The end of the game. That was certainly a game. I definitely enjoyed parts of it, but admittedly a lot of it was frustration. But what can I say? The Sims games, especially the old ones, will always have a special place in my heart. You know what else has a special place in my heart? You, viewer! If you made it this far, thank you so very much for watching and I hope you know I appreciate your viewership from the bottom of my heart. Happy 300 plus subscribers to all my subscribers, you all make me happy. I know it's been a while since the last video, but hopefully I can keep the channel going as it's hard being under financial strain. Oh well, 
subscribe and like the video if you liked it. This has been The Walnut Man, see you in the next video.